Okay, first you'll want to download the Spark SDR from sparksdr.com. Click on Downloads and then choose the one available for your operating system. I chose this one for Windows 10 64-bit and click on download and then you can extract that and I extracted it to my desktop and then you have the Spark SDR and some available other files. A couple other things you'll want to have done first is installed uh, WSJTX and um, also install the SD Runo, SDRUNO software so you can get the SDR Play um, DLL files. So once you have those two uh, opened up you can double click on Spark SDR and then you'll click on the settings button here and the first thing you need to do is type in your call sign, your grid location, and if you want you can put an antenna description and choose uh, all the other default options should be fine here. Um, if you want to look at the path for WSJT and verify that's correct, it's that tab. Otherwise you can click the X. Um, I have an RSP1 SDR Play connected to this uh, laptop. so you basically click on the power button and uh, it'll start up and you'll want to choose um, what bandwidth you have your receiver set to so in this case I have mine set to 10 megahertz because I want to decode the largest number of bands as possible and then you can click in here and type in the frequency you want so let's say 14074 um, and hit enter and then choose the mode that you want. So in this case I want to choose FT8 decoding and it'll change all these options here. And then you should start seeing signals decoding if you have an antenna connected to your SDR and they should show up here in the window um, under decodes. Uh, it decodes at about every 15 seconds for FT8 and we're waiting for the progress bar here and boom there's the current decodes of that period. So if you want to report those signals to PSK Reporter you can click on this checkbox and it will report them. Next, we want to add a virtual receiver, so you come up here and hit the plus sign, and this one we want to decode FT4, so 14080, enter, and then we'll change the mode here to FT4. And there may or may not be a lot of FT4 activity at the moment, but you'll see in the waterfall, looks like there's one signal there at least. Um, decoding here, there it is, in 7 gwr and so far we've added two. If you want to report that to PSK Reporter, click on the check mark there, and then depending on how much processing power you have, you can uh, add additional receivers. So let's say we want to do a whisper um, receive, so you type in the whisper frequency, one four zero nine five six hit enter and then we'll change the mode here to whisper WSBR there you go and then it switches to whisper mode and whisper mode takes approximately two minutes to decode the transmission so you won't see anything come up here for at least more than two minutes and if you want to report that to PSK Reporter, you just click on the PSK Reporter button. It'll put a little green light there. And the advantage of the um, SDR Play is it has about a 10 megahertz bandwidth. So we can add another virtual receiver. And let's say 10136. Enter. And then we'll change that to FT8. And then let's add another one for um, 
7074. Enter, and we'll change that to FT8. And then we can add another receiver for FT4 um, on 40 meters. So 7047500. Warning alarm. And then change it to FT4. And let's say we want to report that to PSK Reporter. So you can see up here we have all of our virtual receivers FT4, I mean FT8, FT4, Whisper, FT8, FT8, FT4. Um, you could also add another uh, Whisper receiver for 40 meters. So 070386. And switch that to Whisper and report them to PSK Reporter. So you have a multi band, multi mode FT8, FT4 Whisper um, decoder that reports it. Then you can go over to your PSK Reporter. PSK Reporter.info and click on the map and then type in your call sign and your signal reports will show up here on the map. So a great way to see which bands are open and um, see where your signal goes.